Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to the Younguns part 10. So a lot of you guys actually wanted to see Haley's older brother. We haven't played with him yet. He does have a pretty small family and I don't think too much is going to happen during this part because Scarlett, his wife, actually does have work, I think. Yeah, she does. So she has work and his kid Paxton has school. So we will literally be hanging around with Harvey in this part. We'll be, um, I don't even know what, I'm really just going to play this part. I don't have a plan at all. Maybe I'll send him and Scarlett on a date when she's back from work. Um, but up until that point, we are pretty much just going to play Little Family Life. I really quickly, first off, just want to um, show you guys the house. I tend to do this when we're playing as like a different family. So this is the house. I think it was made by Ruthless KK, who is actually an incredible builder. And I had the pleasure of meeting her last summer and she is just insanely talented. I think this is one of Ruth's builds. I'm fairly sure, but I will double check that. If it is not Ruth, then I apologize to the builder. Um, but I will put all the information in the description down below as I usually do when we are playing new builds. I haven't built any of the houses in this Let's Play, which kind of sounds really lazy of me, but I just don't have confidence in my building and I know other people can do it so much better than I can. So I kind of just go onto the gallery and find something perfect for my sims. So this is their little suburban dream house, I guess you could say. It's just like living room, dining room, all open plan, then kitchen, which I did change up quite a lot in this house. I added in the kitchen, I changed the living and dining area. I did change up quite a lot of this house. So if you guys are interested, I could upload this to the gallery, but obviously um, all credit goes to Ruth because she actually built the house and then I changed up this back bedroom which is like red and black theme which I really like it looks really cool then their ensuite bathroom so this is Harvey's and Scarlett's room and then upstairs we have little Paxton's room my favorite room in the house which is actually Scarlett's office which I adore I want an office like this in wherever I choose to live I would quite like an office like this because this is insane I am such a fan of this it's like orangey like corally tones I am obsessed I want this room in my house um, and then just a little bathroom which is very funky actually I really like the color scheme in this bathroom I think it's very very cool but that's just a little I guess you could say tour around the house so we're just gonna hop straight into this park like part not park like I said I do not have a plan basically Harvey's here making um, some pancakes for everyone and I just sorted out all his relationships so ignore that Scarlett's having a quick little workout before she has to go to work um, she should probably stop and grab something to eat so does she actually need anything to eat no she does not um, Harvey doesn't either actually it's just Paxton so Paxton come grab a serving of this um Scarlett actually needs to go up here and work on some reports uh I'm not too sure how she does this again I always forget um okay doesn't tell me how to fill out reports er, da, 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 fill out reports there we go it's under web for any of you who are in the business career with your sims what are you up to don't go play incredible sports your wife needs to work i'm fairly sure they are married i'm fairly sure he uh she is our wife uh yeah spouse so that's cool look at little paxton he's such a little cutie i am obsessed with him he's like one of the cutest kids he actually reminds me of tyler from when i played the cranks in the sims 4 like when the Sims 4 first came out and I started playing my Let's Play. He actually really reminds me of Tyler and I was obsessed with Tyler. He was such an adorable little kid. Um, can you hurry up and finish your things, please? Harvey, what should we do today, bud? I don't know. <laughs> I want to check out his skills. I want to see what he's got. He's very much just like a stay-at-home dad, so he's really good at cooking. He's pretty pretty high up on fitness um handiness logic he's all right at mixology ah i remember what it was so basically he wanted to be like this great 
bartender like he wanted everyone to know his name for being like (laughs) the best mixologist in town and he was doing it and then that's how we met Scarlett she was on like an office night out with the girls from her office because she's in the business career she actually works for Tatum um so yeah they were like on a night out and Harvey was just like oh wow she is literally like the prettiest girl I've ever seen and he was like right this is it I have to make a move so he did and they got chatting it was pretty slow like he didn't just like make a move and she instantly fell in love with him she was very against the idea of falling in love with harvey he's a little bit of a like he's cool but he's a little bit of a nerd i love him like he's really quiet and seems quite shy but he saw scarlet and was like screw this i'm gonna have to pick up my game here i'm gonna have to win her over and that is what he did he managed to win over the girl of his dreams and he's now married and they have a kid and they're pretty much just like the perfect suburban family basically it's what he's always dreamed of he did want to be a mixologist until he found that and then he was like i want to have a big happy family that is what i want to do with my life and it suits him um being a dad definitely definitely suits mr harvey but what i'm gonna have him do is come use this and yeah i really have no plans who's out and about oh here's joey hey joe uh, <laughs> joey's go- going for a jog maybe we'll invite joey in are we friends with joey i don't know if i um no i didn't actually make them friends or anything so we don't actually know joey so we're not gonna like shout him in that's a little bit weird but i really like where this house is like i like this canal thing that we've got going on um i have not played in newcrest all that much like this is all pretty new to me but as you can see they are pretty much in suburbia we have the yoga place back here um and also the little park which is adorable because obviously the little kid likes to go there and stuff like that i don't think anyone actually lives here which i love this house um but no one actually lives here i just plopped in so many different houses who else is around oh there's leighton what a dude what a dude he looks like he's been working out i love how everyone seems to know each other in this let's play like i could literally be just looking around town and then be like oh hey there's this person or oh hey there's that person maybe we'll go on like a date not a date but maybe we'll go on um like a little day trip to somewhere maybe we'll go to the shopping district that could be quite cute i guess there's not much else we can do she is off to work so scarlet actually works until 5 p.m so she pretty much has a nine to five job oh she's bored oh no uh can we do something to make you not bored um we'll browse the internet for a little bit and then we'll actually do something uh okay harvey I think we are gonna go somewhere. I think I want to travel with someone. Maybe Chloe, maybe just Nina. He's pretty much friends with them. Or maybe we'll go with like his mum. I don't know, but I want to get him out of the house. I don't want to spend all day in the house. We could go to like a park, but let's see what I pl- plop down in Magnolia Promenade because I honestly can't remember. Um, oh, okay, so I added in like this little bakery bookstore type of thing because i thought that would be cool for chloe um so yeah we're gonna travel with chloe this is not a date don't go crazy at me don't be like no chloe's with jared you can't break them up this is not a date this is literally friends hanging out they've been friends since they were both young and yes chloe did have a little thing for him but she's over it you know she's pregnant now she kind of has to be over it (laughs) um she's having another man's baby so she ain't gonna go there but a lot of you are like get them together and i'm like but but harvey and scarlet is so cute but this is like oh man we should have invited nina as well like imagine nina in a place like this let's do it let's invite nina where is she um oh he actually dislikes her i don't remember doing that damn that means we can't invite her and legit no one's here i should have made it so that people could work here but I always forget to do that (laughs) um oh she's wearing a crop top and she's got a little belly that's so cute um 
We're gonna express our admiration for Chloe and oh of course she goes straight into the bookshop. She would, wouldn't she? And um can we like congratulate her on her news? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't think Believe we can. You. I really want to just be like, yo, congrats. Um, we'll just give her a hug and pretend that this is a congratulations. This is so flipping cute, but like I said, like no one's here because there's like nothing. Can you get people to work here? Like, is that a thing? Can you like make it so that people visit and work here and stuff? Because right now, no one comes to these places and this is really boring because it's literally just us two <laughs> and it's kind of awkward that it's just us two because this is like a date and I didn't want it to be like that. that. Chloe's just sat down. Oh, <laughs> Chloe's like, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here. Um, <laughs> let's discuss world peace and we are going to share mixology secrets. I don't think Chloe would be into that but we can still try. Like, why isn't anyone here? Um, Nora, I want like our mum to come or something. Just someone, please. Like I, I know people were shopping at the the mall when we last went. So why aren't people like shopping in a place like this? It's confusing. Uh, maybe we'll go and bake. <laughs> we'll just go bake ourselves. Uh, we will make onion bagels. Go do that, Harvey. And I can't actually control Chloe. I'm so used to controlling her that it just feels weird. Oh, she's like so sick, bless her, because she's pregnant. She's got really bad, like, pregnancy sickness, which is kind of gross. <laughs> I feel like maybe we shouldn't have invited her out of the house. I feel like she probably needed to stay home today. But uh, we're going to go bake. We're going to see what we can make. I don't know whether it'll be good or not, but we can try. He is a pretty good baker, I have to say. He does seem fairly good at the, um... Oh no, he's like a level three. But he's really good at cooking, so it kind of helps out. He's feeling confident. Competent cook. Competency in the kitchen has filled Harvey with confidence. Well, maybe not filled. Splashed, let's say. Yeah, splashed. <laughs> I love the little um, descriptions that they have for all the moodlets. They are so cute. Chloe, Chloe is just in her element right now, like completely in her element. I would really love it. A lot of you have actually been saying this. Um, if Chloe could own like her own bookstore, like maybe one day this thing could be ours. Like maybe we could buy it and Nina could work with the plants and like sell plants and things. Chloe could work in this little bookshop and sell like books she's written. Maybe like she could help Harvey out with baking and stuff. This could be like an endeavor between the two. I think that's a really cute idea and that's literally just come to me now like I didn't even plan that I saw this lot and was like okay I need that in my game because it's adorable um but I never really thought that that could happen but seeing this it could be a cool little business endeavor like Scarlet could look after all the accounts look at how cute this place is Scarlet could look after all the accounts for us and then Harvey could basically own this little cafe bit. Chloe would obviously um, own the bookshop and Nina could own the like garden center. How cute would that be? I think I'm gonna make that our aim. We don't have too much money, so it could take a while because I'm guessing that this place costs quite a lot to buy, um, but we could do that. We could so totally do that. Should we see how much this place is to buy? Um, where is it? I think, can we do this through the phone? Uh, do, 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 do buy a retail store. I just want to double check. I'm not obviously not going to do it at the minute because that's like crazy. Like we barely have funds. But Scarlett's getting pretty good at her job. I think she's, she's a pretty good level. Oh no, we were meant to uh, work hard. No, what am I doing? Oh, okay. I was like, where are we going? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, that's so much money. Oh no, oh damn, I thought it would be cheaper than that, 179,000 simoleons, I don't think I've ever earned that much in The Sims 4, 
That's gonna be so hard, but I really want to do it. Maybe yeah, that's gonna be like our aim. She does not seem to like those onion bagels. She's like shaking her head like, oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> um, let's joke about old times. And we are also gonna have a quick little gossip. Why does Chloe always look so happy? I swear I say this like every part, but she really, really does. She looks like crazy happy in all like poses. I think it's because of her massive eyes. She basically has like doll eyes. <laughs> like whatever she does, she just seems super happy because her eyes are just massive. Oh, we got we got someone in a hot dog suit. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> I love when you just see people walking around in hot dog suits. It's so weird. Oh, here's Nina. Should we go say hey to these guys? Of course, they're all set. Oh, who's this, Nina? Channing. Who are you talking to, hey? She's like, she's like pretty much on a date right now. I think we're going to be interrupting if we go say hey to her. Who else? Oh, ladies having luncheon. <laughs> Uh, Azure and Summer and Rachel. I like how her name's Summer Holiday. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, we're gonna go put away a book apparently and oh Chloe just left. Okay that's cool Chloe. Yep you, you go. You go. That's fine. That's fine girl. Maybe we'll go home and uh, work out a bit. Actually we can do that now. Let's go for a jog. Why not? He's pretty He's pretty healthy, he likes to stay fit, so we'll just go for a jog around the precinct, see what's about. I never really visit this place. Oh, here's Jared. Beefcake. We got Beefcake over here. He is such a beefcake. Oh my goodness. I really need to trim him down. A lot of you guys keep telling me to do so. I will be doing that for sure because he does look like he has man boobs and I will be trimming his chest down quite a little bit. This is a nice jog though. We got like the marshes, like the swamp over here. <laughs> I don't get this. Like it's really like nice over this way. Like it looks like a proper lake and then it just looks like swamp. Like, all these broken, <laughs> broken trees and stuff. Is it meant to be a swamp? I don't really know. I think it looks like one. Is that it? Is that your jog for the day? Nope, he's still going. He's still going to continue it. So, yeah, like I said, maybe that is going to be our business endeavour for this Let's Play. Maybe we can save up just enough money to do it. Chloe is definitely going to have to write more like a lot more things and start getting a lot more in royalties and stuff like that. I think Jared could definitely help because he does earn quite a lot of money in the athletic career so we're um, gonna be relying on Jared quite a lot. Her parents are also loaded so like if it takes too long we could probably be like, oh yeah, she gets an inheritance from her parents every month, which I feel like would happen anyway. I feel like Tatum wants to keep Chloe on his good side, so he'd literally give her like a thousand pounds a month. That just seems to be like what he would do. Oh, here's Silas as well. All of these boys are so ripped. <laughs> I feel sorry for Harvey. He's like, he's quite small, bless him. <laughs> <laughs> he's feeling ripped though look at him checking himself out he's gonna be ripped soon um but yeah he's quite small in comparison to everyone else but let's go um let's go can we talk to silas i really want to because he kind of has a little thing going on with harvey's little sister so i feel like harvey would be like yo we need to introduce ourselves like oh why can i not do it like i feel like he would totally be like overprotective big brother like yo stay away from my sister but we're gonna head home because Paxton's actually home which I didn't actually realize whoops sorry Paxton just ignoring our little kid <laughs> we're gonna head home make dinner for Paxton I guess um maybe like help him with his homework and see what he's up to see how school went I feel like Harvey's one of those people who would really try and get in on their child's life like drive them home from school asking them how it went and Paxton would just be like meh it was fine what did you do don't know just school <laughs> oh he's up here talking to his um to his little friend but he is pretty hungry don't go to sleep Harvey um we are gonna serve we'll serve some lunch that could also be used as dinner so we're gonna make some chili 
for everyone so for Scarlett when she gets back home and then I think I do want them to go out on a date so we'll send them out on a little date together I was gonna have a double date with Chloe and Jared but him and Chloe have already seen each other today and it's a little bit weird if we invite her out again like twice in a row mm, seems a little bit odd Paxton, why don't you actually um, sit down here and do your homework, mister? Get on with that. Right, let me put that away. There we go. And do your homework. Please stay sat there. Say sat there? <laughs> Please stay sat there. He did. He's a good little chappy. Um, and she is back in like half an hour. So we're basically going to have... Um, dinner as a family and then yeah. these two will go out on a little date I don't know where maybe to a nightclub I feel like even though Scarlett is very work based like she puts a lot of effort into her job and obviously like it shows from her um her like office up here she spends a lot of time working but I feel like she's still a party animal like that's just the kind of vibe I get from Scarlett like she always likes going out and enjoying herself I do actually need to add in quite a few girlfriends for her because there aren't too many girls in the world right now because Jared is obviously on the athletic team and they all seem to be like his boys so there's not too many girls living in the area and I feel like Scarlett definitely needs some good girlfriends so we're all gonna grab a serving of this Harvey's like gonna get fat <laughs> he's like eating bagels and now he's eating chili as well but that's fine no judgment Harvey I feel you bro you you can't ignore when there's food on the side like especially when they all want to eat as a family I'm gonna let them <laughs> he's fine he's good he he can work out he's got it all under control they're both actually really tired which is kind of annoying because I don't want them to be uncomfortable on their date oh is he gonna get up to sit next to her you cutie get out of town Oh, he's gonna, like, compliment her appearance. Paxton's like, screw this. You guys are flirting with each other. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I I don't get why they still, like, get up and uh, move around. Okay, we are going to um, describe a new idea to her. And what else should we do? Let's express our fondness. And... Can we have like the cute little Sims 2 interactions back when they're sat at the table like holding hands and feeding each other and stealing each other's food? I really want that back in Sims 4. Like those little flirty interactions at the table were my all time favourite things of The Sims 2 I think. Which is saying a lot because that was a pretty big game but it was just like those tiny little interactions that just made your Sims seem so much more real that were absolutely adorable. I really want them back. Like when you could like steal food off someone. Was that available in Sims 3? I'm trying to remember but I don't think it was. But you could like steal food when they looked away and it was so cute like i really really want that back in sims 4 right what we're gonna do is go use this oh no 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 scarlet do not go to sleep damn it <laughs> go use this and take a steamy shower get yourself in a little bit of a um we're gonna have him nap actually because he's like super super tired so we're gonna have him nap for a little bit I don't know why they're both so tired they did both get up pretty early they were up at like 5 a.m. pretty much you mister can go use this and um, go play with Drago I guess what can you talk about with him you can tell him stories and call him names well don't call him names we kind of want him to be a friend so yeah, I'm just letting him have a little bit of a nap. Nice singing, Scarlet. Oh no, don't stop. She has like a really raspy voice. Um, and we are going to change outfit into our... What's our party wear? Let me see that. Okay, yep. That's definitely what we can go for. And... You, mister, need to get up. You need to use this. And what's your party wear? Let's check it out. It's probably exactly the same as his everyday wear. He oh, definitely doesn't make an effort all that much. He wears a lot of black. 
and biker boots he's just like yeah i don't really care about fashion where scarlet's like the opposite scarlet's like let me get dressed up right now like look how hot she looks right now harvey you you are a lucky boy <laughs> But we're gonna go to a club, I think. Yep, there we go. It's pretty much exactly the same, but he's changed into a shirt and actually has earrings, which I forgot to take off, which is a little bit annoying because he probably shouldn't be wearing earrings considering he doesn't have his ears pierced on everyday wear. And I apologize if you guys can currently hear my dog barking. I don't know why, but he's barking 24 seven at the minute. We aren't gonna go to the library or the museum. Okay, so I actually didn't add in anything there. Oh wow, I've barely like added anything in. We have a nightclub or we have the bar. Uh, I need to add in like more bars, I think. I feel like that definitely needs to be done, but we're gonna go to the nightclub and we're gonna go with Harvey. I know that it's not the most, most like romantic date in the world, but they're out for a good time. They just wanna let loose a little bit, not like completely, obviously. They have a like 10 year old at home, which we'll just pretend that he's with his grandma. Let's just say that Madeline came in and was like, yeah, I'll look after him. So this is the nightclub I have. I think this is actually made by Andrew Arcade, the lovely Andrew Arcade. And I love this place. Like I am obsessed. Oh, you two. Wow, she's already, whoa, I'm, I'm gonna leave her to it. Uh, he's gonna go order a drink and she is going to go and grab a futuristic punch. Actually, can you improve it before she grabs one? Just to make it a little bit better. Please tell me it made it better and not worse. Fountain of Mirth, now with 100% more zest. Okay, there we go. We're gonna grab one of these. You can grab one as well, actually. What? Grab one. Okay, grab one now. She's gone. There you go. <laughs> okay, cool. I really love this club. Like, I am obsessed. I'm fairly sure it's Andrew who made this. Oh, they're both, like, super tired. And they're not even sitting together. This is gonna be a fun date. They're literally not even sat together. Girl, go downstairs and sit with your boy. Oh, Bella's here as well. Maybe, oh, Scarlet and Bella could be like best friends. They're like the same person apart from Bella doesn't work or anything like that. Um, can we like call her over? Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him a little bit. We're gonna give him a little sexy pose. And we are going yeah. to... <laughs> he doesn't like that. He's like, oh, that's Hello. disgusting. We're going to compliment his appearance. And we're going to um, flirt a little bit and make a flirtatious joke. So he's feeling playful. Odd taste. Something just doesn't taste right. But that's not going to stop Harvey's desire to dance and party. Improved drink. <laughs> That's so cool. And she's feeling like super flirty because of her steamy shower before she um she left. Uh, we're gonna blow a kiss and we are also going to Okay, well. Uh where's Bella? Oh look at Bob. <laughs> Bob, nice dancing, brother. Amazing dancing. Wow, we have like loads of emotions right now. This, I think he messed up this drink. Like, they're pulling weird faces. They do not seem to be liking it. Let's call over Bella. Let's try and get these two to be good friends. I feel like they could be really good friends. And who's this girl? She looks like a celebrity. Erica Wiles. Aw, Paxton actually has, I think he's friends with, like, her son or something. Dylan Wiles. They have the same last name, so I'm guessing they're, like... <laughs> like mother and daughter, mother and son. I don't really know. Um, let's give her a cheerful introduction. And have you given her one? I think she's doing it. Oh, okay, Harvey. Oh, he's spooky music. Really? <laughs> They're playing spooky music in a. Uh... Okay, that's cool. Continue, continue dancing to your spooky music, you little weirdo. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love him. He's so random. Um, right. Offer career advice. I feel like Bella definitely probably needs that. And we're going to brighten her day. We're going to gush about our partner. And we will get to know her and discuss fitness techniques and discuss our interests. I really want these two to be friends now. I feel like they could be such good friends. And then who knows, maybe Bella will like confide in Scarlet and be like, oh, I actually have something to tell you. Um, I'm kind of seeing Tatum, which is kind of awkward. And Scarlet could be like, what? He's my father, in not father-in-law. He's like, I don't know what he is. They're definitely not related, but they're pretty much like, not father-in-law, but she, he, she's his employee and also their like families are really close so it could just get weird are you going home oh no he's ordering a drink i was like damn are you going home already i think we should get to know this girl as well i feel like she could be in our friendship group she's looking very cool i love this dress i love sims wearing orange i don't know what it is about it i think like i have like an obsession with orange at the minute like it's currently my, my favorite color which it never really was until I had my uni room orange and then I was like, you know what? I really like orange. It's a really happy colour. <laughs> I'm so weird sometimes. I just get these things in my brain. But I think I am going to end this part here, guys, because it has been pretty long. I do apologise for how long these parts seem to be. I don't know why, but I just get really into them. And each part seems to be getting like longer and longer. So I really do apologise if you guys aren't interested in the longer parts, but... I don't know what it is. I just enjoy filming this Let's Play so much that I just get completely into it. And then I'm like, oh, wow, I've been recording for literally like almost 40 minutes. I should probably stop. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this part and seeing a little bit into Scarlett's and Harvey's lives. I really like these two. I think we will be playing with them a little bit more frequently because I do think they're really cute together and their little family is adorable. Maybe we'll play with them at the weekends so that Scarlett is off work and also Paxton is off school because it would be cute to like take them out to the park for days out and you know when Chloe and Jared's babies are born babies I don't know if they're going to be babies don't 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 take that as a hint I really don't know if there's going to be one or more but as soon as their baby is born then we can go on like family days out with both of them and like Paxton can get quite close to the child and It'll just be so cute. It'll like solidify the friendship between the two families. But thank you guys so much for watching this part. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Maybe let me know what you would like to see in the next few parts. That plot twist that I have been talking about will be coming up fairly soon, probably within either the next part or the part after that. And I know a lot of you have been intrigued to find out more about that. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. Thank you all so much for your love of this Let's Play. It really, really does just encourage me to film more and more and more for you guys. So it really does mean a lot. Thank you all. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys.